received a question from Rick this week related to Time Machine. He wrote in to ask about removing files from Time Machine backup uh, to kind of get space back from the Time Machine drive. Now, specifically, what he was doing is renting movies. And uh, as you know, if you've rented a movie from Apple, you get to watch that for about 48 hours after you start playing it for the first time. And then after that, it's no longer available for you to watch. So he was saying, hey, I've downloaded this movie. I've watched it already. Um, I obviously can't watch it again because the 48 hours have passed. It got backed up, though, by my time machine. So I want to delete the file from my Mac, but I also want to remove it from time machine so I can get the storage space back in my time machine about, you know, movies tend to be depending upon if it's an HD or a 4k movie can be three to five, you know, gigabytes of data. Now I would say typically with time machine, you really don't need to worry about it. I, I prefer to let time machine do its thing to manage files in the way it manages that manages them because time machine itself, if you, if you delete a file on your Mac, right, that's already been backed up to Time Machine. One advantage with Time Machine is you can go get that file back. So this is great for accidental deletions. But what about files like this where you really want it deleted? You don't need it back. You don't want it back. You know, Time Machine will uh, keep that file around. But because you've deleted it on your Mac, it is smart about it. It knows that if it needs additional space to back up newer files, it will go back and purge those older files that have been deleted to get that space back and kind of manage all this stuff automatically. But if it really does bother you and you really do want that file deleted out of there from Time Machine, Time Machine does offer a way to do that. You just have to go into the Time Machine interface. So you enter Time Machine and then go to where that backed up file is the one that you want to permanently delete and then you can just simply go back in time find it right click on that file or control click on it to bring up the contextual menu and at the top you should see an option that says delete all backups of and then the file name and you can select that from the contextual menu and that will purge it from your time machine backups completely now be aware you're not going to be able to ever go back and get that file again so make sure what you're doing and if you don't see that option up at the top it can be because if there's only a single instance of that backup file this option won't be available there needs to be at least two uh, sort of backups, two versions of it, uh, two kind of little timeline points with that file. And I think you have to go back further in time to actually find this option. You might not be able to find it from the most recent uh, backup. So you may have to play around with this a little bit, but you certainly can purge older files um, from Time Machine and get space back on your Time Machine drive if you want to do that. And that's how you would do it, Rick. Um, another way to save storage space on your Mac that that's got me thinking about related to movies and TV shows purchased from Apple is to use the optimize options from manage storage. So if you go into your Mac under the Apple menu and choose about this Mac and then click on storage, the storage tab, and then uh, click on the little manage button, there's a window uh, that you can see or a section called optimize storage. Within that section, if you click on optimize, the optimize button, you can review the settings that you have set up for optimized storage. And what it allows you to do is for movies and TV shows that you've already watched, uh, they can be automatically removed from the Mac if you turn on this option. So um, it's a way to save storage space because with purchase content, right, as you are probably aware, you can download that again at any time. You can go in. Uh, click the little cloud icon with the with the download arrow and bring that back to your Mac. And this optimized storage setting, you can go back and check the setting and also change later in the TV app preferences. So um, if you click optimize, what it'll do is purge any TV shows and or movies that you've watched from your Mac, and then you can restream and redownload them, redownload them later. Um, but it temporarily allows you to get the storage space back. If you want to check the setting or change the change this setting inside the TV app, you can also just open up the TV app, go into the TV menu, select preferences, and then click on the files tab, and then you'll see a little checkbox. Uh, that says automatically delete watched movies and TV shows. So you can turn that option on or off to kind of toggle it. 
Um, the one thing to be aware about this is you may not want this option on if you're using a Mac as your sort of download backup location for your purchased content. This is something that Apple actually recommends that you do. We've talked about this on the show because it's not always guaranteed when you make a purchase of a TV show or a movie on uh, Apple that it's always going to be available. Their licensing deals change, those sorts of things. So you may want to actually have a backup of all your purchased content. I personally do this. I store all of my Apple media, my movies, my music, my TV shows on my Mac on an external drive, um, have all my libraries there, and then I have that library file backed up via, via Chronosync to my Drobo locally. I also have Backblaze configured and set up to back up that external drive as well so I have a copy in the cloud um, if you change the setting again it, Apple's going to be managing it and you're kind of trusting your data and information to iCloud and to you know Apple and the Apple TV app and those sorts of things so just be aware of that but it is a way to free up space locally should you be running out of space on your local drive so just another option and uh, again thanks to um Rick for sending in his question. 